Yeah, now there's some energy. Chet Atkins, wow. That guy can pick, and I think he's about 80 years old. That guy can just do it. Your memory is sharp. Oh, man, I'm in there. All right, energizing your life. Here's the Clay Nelson, Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour. And as you can see, my life is energized. Sometimes uh, people are going, could you you turn it down a little bit? And I'm going, no. So now, we were talking before we went on the break about um, what it's like to have, you know, just a good life. Enough money in the bank, good health, doing the same thing, going to the same job, taking the kids to school, doing all the same stuff. And it's like, blah, doing the same old, same old. What do you do about it? And if you're the only person that has a say in how your life turns out, what would you like to do about it? What would you like to say? How would you like to be held accountable? How much fun would you like to have? How much fun could you have taking your kids to school? How about having fun with your kids? And still drive safely, of course. Okay. How much fun could you have at school? How about this? How much fun and how many thank yous could you say to the to the uh, a crossing guard? You roll down your window and say, "Wow, I really appreciate the job you're doing for us. Thank you very much." Uh, Clay, uh, during during the break here, I was looking through the uh, emails that we've gotten so far, wow. and uh, there's one very appropriate here. Uh, it says, "Clay, I purchased one of your CDs, which covers this topic very much in depth, and started living my own personal plan." Yeah. Well, it doesn't wipe away all the stuff that comes up and the stress sometimes that comes with it. My personal plan does help to make me much more capable of handling it all. So thank you. Um, wow. on, on that note, actually. Um, in case people want to know, how do they get the CD sets, especially the one that includes this topic? Sure. Uh, there's, a, there's a triple set of CDs. The first one is started, uh, it's called getting St- the Getting Started series, and it's, it involves creating your purpose, how that fear serve you, and commitment. The second one is called the Taking Care of Me series, and it's a great series. And it's called, the first CD is Life Balance, How to Have Some personal planning like how to have actually have a plan where you learn to take care of yourself you actually write it down and we're going to talk about that in a minute and then uh, third cd in that series is the accountability cd how do you allow people to hold you accountable for having the life you say you want because let me tell you folks if you could have the life you say you wanted by yourself without any help from anybody else everybody'd have it guess what look around Funny how that works. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to be held accountable for facing your stuff and doing what you don't want to do and going to the gym when you don't want to. And quite frankly, I need help not to bend my elbow when I have a handful of licorice, <laughs> you know, towards my mouth. You know, what I mean? and Susan, Susan keeps, keeps me on track that way. And then the third one is uh, the Building Your Future series, uh, Becoming a Better Leader, How to Build a Team, and What is Beyond Success? What happens if you got happy? What's beyond happy? You know, quite frankly, more happy people, more kids, more fun. You know, fun is not against the law. It's a lot easier to make money having fun than it is to being a grump. Now, here's a personal plan. A personal plan is nothing more than things that you love to do. All right. And I made a couple of rules. And the rules are, number one, a personal plan line item can't have anything to do with making money. Second. The personal plan light item can't have anything to do with work. So you can't make money doing it, and you can't have anything to do with work. So here's some ideas, okay? A personal plan line items are like, oh, sitting on a pier and casting a line into the ocean. And what about this? You don't even care if you catch anything. You're just sitting on the pier, casting your line in the ocean. Or exercise. You, you know, you could actually have a personal plan where you get happy getting in physical shape, being better, and looking gorgeous like you do. Ooh, Ooh, thanks. Yeah. Plus it energizes you and and, and helps you get through your day, all the stuff that you maybe not are are too excited Yeah, I got to tell you, I've been running the stadium stairs now for about two years. And since I've been on this radio show for about the last year, I now have people, every time I go to the stadium, I've got people that are there, ah, you really do do what you talk about on the radio. You really are here. I go, yeah. I says, wow, that's really cool. And so... um, I actually feel better after working out, at least for a couple hours anyway, until my age goes, excuse me, but you're 63. Here, I'm going to let you feel this on your head. <laughs> oh. So I have hot packs and cold packs and do all that stuff. But it's all about being willing to have just a little bit of pain to get healthy and feel better and have blood flowing where it's not and doing all kinds of things. Now, another, how about this? Here's another personal plan item. How about having a date night with your spouse? I mean, actually just plan a date night where you just go and have a drink or Drink some water or go for a walk or go to dinner or go to a movie or do whatever and just spend time. And for me, it's about me not talking. It's about me listening. 
Huh, Susan. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right. And I found out listening gets me a lot more than talking does. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> now, getting up and seeing the sunrise in the morning. What about this? What about getting up in the morning and, you know, you're so present to just the morning that you enjoy a cup of coffee and it's not about an agenda. It's not about something you have to do today. It's not about something you didn't do yesterday. No, God, I got to get it done today. It's about actually, you know, if you're living in Santa Barbara, it's about actually enjoying the sunrise. It's about being at the ocean. It's about looking at the trees. It's about nature. It is phenomenal. Well, you know, even I take like maybe 15, 10 or 15 minutes a couple times a day just to read a book that I'm enjoying. Sure. And that's some, sometimes the only way I can even make it through a book. Sure. Or how about this? And Beth, if you're listening, how about this? How about going to a football game? <laughs> <laughs> Beth is my assistant and my cohort, and she's also the boss. But she is the queen of football. They go to... Uh, let me see, what do you call them, tailgate parties? Yes. But, and, their, and their team is the Colts. Her, col- right? her team is the Colts. Yeah. And they go anywhere the Colts is playing, they go, they tailgate, they take their kids, and uh, a whole army of people, they are serious. They, they have they box have seats. They have box seats that they purchase yes. every year. And they are serious, serious people. And they call me at halftime and tell me what the score is. <laughs> and that's when I go, oh, that's really great, Beth. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. So we're really go glad team. when the Colts go won team. their first yeah. game. <laughs> All right, now, and here's some simpler ones, okay? Like, like I, in my office... Uh, I'm on the phone probably about oh, eight to nine hours a day, and uh, I actually put on my calendar 15 minutes to do absolutely nothing. Don't talk to anybody. Don't do anything. And I just look at the corner of my office, up at the corner, where there's white on white, and I just rest my eyes and kind of meditate to myself and just get my batteries charged and get back centered into who I'm committed to be. Or you could read a book. Or, get this, you could even sleep in. You could put a plan together where in the middle of the week, you take a half a day off and take a nap. Now, you know that's against the law somewhere in California or (laughs) wherever, but you could actually take a nap. Or you could go to a movie. Or, how about gardening? Some of the greatest, most energizing, most complete times I've had is when I get my fingers working in the, in the earth mm-hmm. on the planet when I make plants grow or I pull weeds out and I pull them out with somebody's name on it <laughs> anyway so there's all kinds of things to do or you can take you know like I said 10 minutes in the middle of your day to do absolutely nothing now well, you know, as you have you said before yeah. um, to a lot of people, they think a personal plan requires a, a travel agent, and it doesn't. No. Just, you know, a couple minutes a day to do something that they enjoy doing. Yeah. I mean, when we come back, we got to take a break now. Uh, we just talked about some things that are on a personal plan line item and, and uh, what is a personal plan. Remember, we said it has nothing to do with work or making money. Uh, but also, uh, you don't have to go anywhere. It's really cool. I mean, it's absolutely cool. So you're listening to Clay Nelson, Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour. The name of the show is Energizing Your Life, Having a Personal Plan, or Taking Care of Yourself Better because nobody else does it as good as you do if you allow yourself to do it. So you're listening to Clay Nelson on KZSBAM 1290. Come on back. Bring your plan. I dare you. Get on the phone. Come on. <laughs> 